Brian Bolesky with Able Distributors. Thanks for stopping by the website. Today we're going to talk about the NTI TRX boiler. It's a water tube boiler. It's actually a really, really nice piece of equipment. It's got a built-in pump, an ECM pump on the return side of this. So it makes it easier than ever before if you've got just a small system, radiant or a couple zones. The pump in here is probably big enough to, to handle it. It's got a three-way valve inside, so it'll select either going out to your heating zone or going to an indirect tank. So never before has having an indirect tank connected to a boiler been easier than, than with this. So let's start going through some of the facts. Facts are it comes in 85,000, 120, 150, and 199,000. We also have two combi versions. That's in a different section, different video. Um, it's got a built-in pump ECM, like I, I told you before. It's got built-in air separators up inside the top to help get the air out of the boiler. It comes with an outdoor sensor. So if you've never used an outdoor sensor and, and reset <clears throat> on a day like today, it's, it's 65 degrees out there. We may still need to heat the home, but we might not need to fire this thing up to 100%. So the outdoor reset will help with that. And it comes with that sensor. It modulates, it's got 11 to one turndown. So modulation rate is actually really, really nice. It makes this thing, again, 95% efficient. It works out really, really well. Comes from the factory set up for Wi-Fi. There's a couple things you gotta do, but you can actually set this thing up for Wi-Fi. And again, it's set up for domestic hot water with the optional indirect tank. Some of the accessories you're gonna want when you go through this is gonna be, obviously, you've got to fill it and regulate how much water pressure goes into the system, have a backflow preventer. This one, this is from Kalefi. This has got an on off valve in the bottom. You actually set the, the PSI at the top. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna have an expansion tank, having a docking center where you mount this to the wall, you hang your expansion tank here. It's got room for a pressure gauge in and out to the boiler. Uh, so this makes it super, super easy, a nice solid place to mount your expansion tank. A hydro separator. Now, again, if your system's small enough that you're gonna use the pump that's built into this boiler, you don't have to worry about it. But let's say you've got a bigger system and you've got two or three pumps down the line. Well, then you're gonna to wanna to do primary, secondary. And honestly, me personally, I would do primary, secondary all the time. I, I think it works a lot better. So that's where this would come in because you could pump through here with the boiler pump that's built in and then out here, pump away and have your return go back to the return. This has got an air separator, a place for a temperature pressure gauge. It's got a magnet uh, strainer and a drain. So you've got that. With every single boiler that we sell, we always recommend a commissioning kit. What's in here is a water test strips. It's got a cleaner. So before you remove the old boiler, you put the cleaner in, let the pump run for an hour or two. Then when you drain it, you're getting everything waterborne, so it goes down the drain. Then it has F1 that will treat the water in the new system. So once you've got your new NTI installed, it's up to pressure. You know you have no leaks. Spray this in, in, in. It's a pressurized can, so you can go through a drain valve or anything like that and treat the water. Next thing you'll see drawn here, forgive my drawing, sometimes I feel like Ray Rayner, is a condensate neutralizer. We know that the water that these things produce are very acidic, and we stock a couple different, and this one works out perfect for a wall mount boiler, where your condensate goes in and out. If this thing gets plugged up for any reason, there is an overflow built in, and then it's got a little thing that'll pop up to let you know that it's using the overflow. But neutralizing that, you gotta do it if you've got cast iron, but honestly, we should all be doing it all the time. And then last but not least is, since we don't know what, what that system that you're installing this boiler on has been through, the IntiClean, it's got a mag to attract all the, the ferrous um, particles. It's a way that you can add chemical if you needed to. It's got an air bleeder and it also acts as a strainer or a separator for any heavy, heavy debris in the system. So again, trying to beat up a brand new boiler, if we treat the water and we, we get the debris out of the water, I mean, it, it should last you a long, long time. So that's it. The TRX, 95%. It's a water tube boiler. And uh, the indirect tanks that we got to go with this, we've got a 20-gallon wall hung, and that's in a different section. 
We got a 40 gallon, a 50 gallon, 80 gallon, and 120 gallon. Again, this just makes it super easy to actually have access to put in an indirect tank for your domestic hot water and have it be super, super easy. That's it. Brian Dulesky for Able Distributors. Thank you. Thank you.